13, I did it using um, e equals minus e squared over n squared r infinity, but I don't know if that's right. Well, wait, what? That's the equation. Uh, that sounds good. Did you get the right answer? No. Oh, well, all right, so let's go through that. So we should always draw a picture for these problems. What would our picture look like? Try drawing something. Um, from a 2p state to 1f. So is that like basically saying it's going from two, from n equal two to n equals one? That's right. So if n equals one, n equals two is going from here down to here. So it's like a mission. Mm -hmm. Good. Just finding like this here. So is this transition? Good. We know it's emission because they said energy was released, emitted. Okay. By the way, um, all right. So um, why why am I not saying that this is one s and two and two p? Because how many electrons do, do we have here? One. Yeah. Hydrogen one plus has only one electron, right? Neutral. I'm sorry. Helium. Neutral helium would have two electrons. Most so of these questions he gives us are with H e plus one or. Right. And the reason is because they have only one electron, and that makes it simpler. When there's only one electron, um, S, P, D, and F make no difference to the energy. When there's only one electron, the 2S is the same energy as the 2P, and the 3S is the same energy as the 3P. We know when there's multiple electrons, S is lower energy than P. But when there's only one electron, S, P, D, and F have the same amount of energy. So since there's only one electron, we can ignore whether it's in the S, the P, or the D, or the F. Okay? All right? Um, so they probably gave you the equation to use at the beginning here. P equals minus e squared over n squared r infinity. Right. Yeah, that's an excellent equation to use. So let's use this equation from your cheat sheet. En equals negative z squared over n squared times r infinity. How did you use this equation? Is this what you tried to use to solve the problem? So what did you do? Um, do you have your okay, work? So n, or wait, well, oh, I did it twice. Good. Because you have to do it, I did it once for n equals 2. Great. And once for n equals 1. Excellent. Maybe I messed up by plugging in the wrong z. I think I thought it was hydrogen and not Ah, okay. That's probably it. Maybe. So let's work that out and see if we get the right answer. So let's start with n equals 1. So we want to find energy level 1. So what should I plug in for z? 2. 2. Because helium has atomic number of 2. And what should I plug in for, one, uh, for n here? 1. And I guess they gave us the Rydberg uh, constant. Uh, oh, in Rydbergs. So, oh, what's supposed to be in Rydbergs? So I guess we can just use R. Rid, this is Rydbergs. So I guess they just want to put it in terms of R. So this would be negative 4 Rydbergs. And now we have to find E2. So what calculation would we do there? Minus 2 squared over 2 squared. Rydbergs which is negative one, Rydbergs. You just subtract the squares and positives. E2 minus E1, negative one, Rydbergs, minus negative four, Rydbergs. Okay. And you get three Rydbergs, is that what you got? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so maybe you put in the wrong Z. It's not hydrogen, it's helium. Sometimes people get the wrong idea that this equation only works for hydrogen. Well, it works for hydrogen and anything else that has only one electron. Right, right, right. It, it was just 